Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo here for another Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous. This is my first video of 2019, and yes, I know it's been a long time, but I needed a break, and it was a busy, busy, busy school year, into a busy Christmas, into a one-month hiatus from everything in my life, and now being February, the first Wednesday of February, I am back with another state of the game, but... I'm not really going to talk about the state of the game. I'm going to talk about the state of my channel. So while I've been in school, I've been kind of playing with content that actually was easier for me to create in a quick way. But what I'm going to start doing this year is I'm going to start going back to the way I created content in the beginning, trying to dissect things and make heads or tails out of them and to bring to you why does it matter to you. And those are the things that I'm going to do this year in 2019. Because, you know, at the end of this year, we get, well, some of you might get, I don't know if I'm going to jump into it because I don't want to lose that, oh my god, this is so awesome, experience my first time in the Squadron 42 universe. But we will have access by the end of this year, beginning of next year, so there's a four-month leeway to before, to after, and we will be able to see Squadron 42. But I'm going to do my best to bring you much better content. I think that regurgitating news and talking about the obvious things are just, they're too easy because CIG does a great job with their videos. And, you know, it's kind of PR for them, trying to drum up the excitement on the game. But when it comes down to it, when new systems, when things are changed, taken away, added, when something shrinks or it gets bigger and then shrinks again. I want to put it into perspective of why that matters or why it doesn't matter and try to go back to what I did in the past, which was to give you the whys and what fors and not just the what's happenings. So I'm going to be doing that very, very quickly. So one of the things that really did drive me away for the period of time I've been gone was the female model. I never got upset with CIG. I got disappointed because I really wanted to start doing other videos which were going to be playthroughs, kind of what I'm trying to do here on my alternate account. And I really want to play through with a character that I can relate to. I know it sounds kind of tripe, right? Um, it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of just me, right? It's just me. I know other people have made statements about it. There was a big controversy over, oh my God, they changed the walk of the female model and now it's more female. Those things didn't matter. I know that they're going to come out with an amazing character model for the female. I know they're working on it. I know it's on their priority list. I know it matters to them as much as it matters to us. All these things I know. But when it comes to me trying to get down and play the game and, and really be part of it, it really just takes away from my ability to connect with that character I'm playing. And, you know, I'm a D&D &D person. I, I am a DM right now. And there's some characters I could really connect with and there's some other ones that I just don't connect with. And in this situation, right here, right now, I'm telling you that when 3.5 hits, you're going to get so much of me, you're probably going to be annoyed. Nonetheless, we had a lot of information coming out of CIG. We already talked about some of it, which was the final release of the alpha, or, or the initial release of the alpha of, and, and you all know I'm going to say it, of Squadron 42. I really just can't wait for that. That is going to be an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. And uh, that, to me, and in, in and of itself, is a huge milestone because we all know that we are not getting Star Citizen until after Squadron 42 comes out in its full release. Because there are events that will go on in Squadron 42 
that will have to have happened for, for Star Citizen to make sense. Right? That does make sense, right? It makes utter sense to me. So I'm extremely, extremely, extremely happy that we're going in this direction right now. That we're starting to see bits and pieces of the game come together. That we're seeing bits and pieces of the game be implemented. And for me, it really does change everything. If we can just move forward in a way that we're not always at each other's throats every time something happens. Now, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying this because there, there were a couple of things that when I took off just drove me nuts, and that's another reason I stayed away for a while, and the female model walk was one of them. CIG is going to go through a lot of a lot of changes as the game comes on. They're going to give us a flight model that works. Take away that flight model. Substitute a flight model that doesn't work. Take that back. Give us something that's a hybrid between the two of them. So what I'm saying is that there's going to be a lot that we're going to see happen and then change and because it changes and changes again, it doesn't ever mean that one of those changes are going to be the final changes. I'm sorry. You know, it, it's just that they have to try things out. And sometimes those things that they try out are going to be hugely important for all of us. Right? Hugely important for all of us to see and break so they can change them again. So let's move on from there. Carrick. Carrick. Let's say it again. Carrick. They keep showing off amazing pictures of the Carrick. That thing grew and shrunk and annoyed people. But in the long run, it's still the same ship that I fell in love with from day one, and I'm excited to see it. Now, there must be some reason that the Carrick is getting worked on early, just like there was for the Hammerhead, because obviously that ship is going to have something to do with Squadron 42. But other ships that I don't have right now in my hangar, but that I do own, aren't going to be worked on for some time, like the Polaris. And because I spent that much money on it, I, I don't. I, you would expect me to be upset that they're not working on it, but I'm not. I'm taking things in stride because I know it's going to take CIG the time it takes to make everything work and everything right. So folks, here's the other pieces that I want to talk about. Let's talk about my channel. Let's talk about where we're going with the channel. So I've started dropping in other videos. There's two Subnautica videos. There'll be more later in the week. There's going to be two foundation videos by the end of today there's already one up there and if you're interested in that in those city building games like foundation banished uh, life is fuel forest village whatever it is this is an amazing one foundation and go out there and watch the first episode because if you help me name the city you can take part in a contest where you're helping me name the city i'm going to be giving away a free copy of the game to somebody but I'm going to be dropping in other content as a filler as I'm doing my videos because my videos are going to take longer time. So there'll be gameplay videos, including gameplay for Star Citizen, like what you're seeing right here. No matter how horrible I was this first initial hour I started playing the game again, the first initial hour that proved to me that I really, 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 really love the game. I will be dropping content in here, and it's going to seesaw back and forth. Back and forth between Star Citizen Heavy and other game heavy. And the reason for that is because I expect there to be a lot of content that I'm bringing forth when you're seeing things like the Evocati release information. You're seeing things like me being able to get into early access of a new patch. 
and I'll be releasing content. And then the first few weeks of playing that new patch, and then it will die down as we wait for the next patch to come out. A lot of us play a ton when a patch first comes out, and then realizes there's inevitably going to be a major reset, and we slow down and teeter out just before a new patch comes out. So my content might go back and forth, back and forth between which one of the games are taking my most interest. When Star Citizen is finally released, you can be sure that my time is going to be spent in Star Citizen because that is the game I like and that is the game I want to bring you. All right, so let's go on from here. I have a lot to do over the next seven days. I'm going to definitely be bringing out a new video often, I promise. And the first video will probably be towards the end of this week. And it will be a combination of gameplay and showing you some other cool stuff in the Star Citizen universe. All right, folks, that's all I got for you today, so you know the drill. If you like the episode, please click the thumbs up button below. If you are a subscriber, be sure to click that bell-shaped notification icon so you get notified of all my future videos. If you want to help the channel grow, which it will be growing over the next few months, you can go out to patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, forward slash Batgirl, and become a patron of Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous and help us to grow over the next year. Thank you very much, everyone, and I will be back soon. And with that said, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.